Wow. So that valve stem right there is not a standard automotive part. And as you can see, the top sheared off right here. This is how it used to go. This may seem like a simple, simple fix. A lot of guys at home are probably like, oh, just get some new valve stems. I promise it's not that easy. If it was, we'd have a lot of wheels that we could use. Pull that valve stem and see if we can get it tapped. Tiny wrenches. <laughs> What we have to do is basically braze together our own fittings and stems that are airtight, and we'll work for this application. Basically, what we're doing is soldering. You take a flux material, which is kind of like this pasty stuff right here. You put it inside the joint that you're trying to connect. And what this does is when this gets warm, it basically takes this rod that I'm gonna to try to melt in there and sucks it into the joint. Seals up the inside of it and the outside. You wind up with a completely sealed joint. These are really, really difficult to find. I can stay. That should be good. This is shop class one right here. That's right. That's some good old fashioned ingenuity right there. Making it happen. This is a little stuff that you guys don't really ever think of. You know, when we're building trucks, all these tiny thousands and thousands of small little parts and pieces that could potentially set a build back. I mean, if we didn't have these, we wouldn't have air in the tires. We don't got air in the tires, we don't have a tow truck. So it's just the, it's the small stuff that adds up to become the big issues. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A military grade. Military grade, homemade. Custom made. Custom made valve core that is going to support our 30,000 pound tow truck.